Hi, I'm Dr. Tim Storms. I'm a veterinarian at the Woodland Park Zoo, and I'm going to show you how to take sample collection for disease concerns uh, for bacterial culturing. Um, first, I'm going to take some samples of the environment, the food, uh, water bowls, and then the substrate or bedding. I'm going to take a sample of feces, and then we're going to take a sample of our chicken, uh, Miss Betty. First, I'm going to take a sterile gauze pad, take that out of the closure. I'm going to moisten that with some sterile liquid, either a sterile water or a buffer solution that your health partner has provided. I'm just going to moisten that a little bit so that it picks up the bacteria better. Then I'm going to take a sample of the food bowl over here. Just wiping around the area where the chicken might have been and contacted the surface. Then I'm going to take that gauze and put it in that container, which is sterile. Next, I'm going to take a sample of the water bowl. Again, a gauze square that's sterile. Going to moisten that with the sterile solution. And again, I'm just going to swipe the areas where the chicken might have been and contacted. And then I'm going to put that in my sterile container. <clears throat> Next, I'm going to take a sample of the housing or bedding area where the chickens like to hang out. I'm going to take my sterile gauze, already moistened, and I'm going to swipe along their house, the area where they like to lay, get some of the bedding. And then I'm going to take that soiled sample and put that in my sterile container. Um, I'm also going to take a sample of the substrate, which is the bedding material in the enclosure. I'm going to just Take a sterile uh, collection jar. I'm just going to take a random sample of this material. It doesn't have to be a lot. Put that in the container. Close that up. And, um, next, I'm going to take a sample of the chicken's feces um, using a sterile tongue depressor and a pre-marked container uh, labeled with the animal's uh, name and the date. I have a sample of feces over here on the ledge. Put that in the sterile container, seal that up, and then we're putting that in a shipping envelope to go to the laboratory. Next, we're going to do sampling of our chicken. Um, she's being held in a proper way to make her feel like she's not in danger of falling. So if you can see, um, Evan is holding his hands underneath the feet and the body. Wings kind of contain so she doesn't feel like she needs to struggle, um, which is great. Now, the next part she's not going to like as much, so this is the trick. We're going to tip her back, exposing her cloaca or vent. Um, so, um, to take the sample, we're taking a swab of the vent or cloaca, uh, which is at the rear end at the base of the tail. So we need the chicken held, rocked back like Evan is doing. Um, the feet are elevated up, and I'm looking under here to find the cloaca, which is right under there at the base of the tail. So I'm going to make sure I know where that is first, and then I'm going to take my swab out of the container. I'm going to take my cap off of the media, take my sterile swab. You're going to make sure you don't touch that tip with anyone, ex anything except what you're trying to swab. You find that vent again. You're going to swab around the area and then insert just slightly. Then I put my swab into the media and seal that up, label it, 
and put it into the envelope.